Retro Gaming Magazine. What it's about, where did it start, and how can you get yours in this episode of the C-Note Files. What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of the C-Note Files. It's your boy C.M. Palmer with you as always. And today I'm going to be doing a quick review of a magazine that I subscribe to called Retro Video Game Magazine. Um, you know, I've been gaming for years now, probably since most of you guys were in diapers. Uh, and back when I first started, you couldn't get your information online. Uh, the internet as we know it today didn't exist. Uh, so the only way you could find out about upcoming games and release dates and things that companies were doing was to go to your local video game store, you know, Electronics Boutique or Babbage's, or head down to the local arcade and chat up with people who, uh, you know, worked in the industry or had friends that work there, and that's how you got your gossip. Uh, the other way you got information was you subscribed to magazines, um, you know, these books with print in them. Um, so back in the day, you know, I used to subscribe to probably three or four at a time. The official PlayStation magazine was one of them, uh, EGM, and all pretty much all three iterations of it before it started and stopped a number of times. Uh, Game Pro magazine is another one. Uh, but a few months ago, I heard about a Kickstarter campaign uh, for a retro game magazine, and I looked online, backed them, and subscribed to the magazine. And I gotta say, guys, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, I have two issues so far. Um, Retro Game Magazine uh, is published bi-monthly, so it comes out, uh, you know, every other month. Uh, but the content is awesome. The quality of the magazine is actually superb. You know, you get a nice shiny cover with it. Uh, the pages and paper that it's actually printed on um, are really well made. It's it's not, you know, it, it's it's thick paper. It's not some flimsy like newspaper type of material. And I have to say, the content and layout is pretty fantastic compared to some of the other magazines I've read. Uh, you know, I'm really happy with the money I spent on the subscription and really glad to back uh, the, their Kickstarter campaign. Uh, like I said, I've got two issues. Both of them are about 60... Five pages or so long, so they're pretty consistent on that. Um, but great information on them. The articles are well written. Uh, the pictures inside are amazing. You know, I just wanted to be able to show you guys uh, some of the stuff you you know if you got it, um, what it would be covering and everything else. It's uh, it's not geared just towards uh, retro video gaming, uh, even though it's called Retro Video Game Magazine. They do cover up and coming releases, um, other Kickstarter campaigns like Money Number Nine. Uh, and they do do throwback um, coverage, you know, as you can see down there in their uh, retrograde uh, article series. Um, I subscribed to the print and digital edition. Uh, it was one of the packages that I got with the uh, Kickstarter. Um, but if you're really interested in getting a subscription, I would say uh, head over to the link down in the uh, description below. It is... Uh, readretro.com slash subscribe. Uh, go ahead and sign up for the magazine, get yourself a subscription. Uh, and if you're looking to do something a little more local, uh, I know that uh, one of the video game stores that's kind of over near the Boston area uh, called Bizarre Game Trading, uh, they have uh, partnered with Read Retro to get subscription services set up so that you can actually go buy uh, the magazines at his shop. Uh, I'll put a link to his uh, site also below in the description. But like I said, guys, just want to do a quick review of the uh, Retro Video Game Magazine. Uh, it's, yeah, like I said, it's a pretty superb magazine. It's got the great content. Uh, it's, they happen to be the same guys that run the uh, Game Gavel auction site. It's the eBay site for video game enthusiasts is the best way to describe it. You know, also take a look down there. Um, so... Subscribe, you know, support the guys. They're uh, they're just starting out still in their uh, subscriptions and stuff, but hopefully we'll get to see a lot more content and they, uh, you know, the subscriber base goes up and they get to carry it through. Um, let me know what you think of the video. Comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook fan page, and my Instagram feed. That's it for now, guys. Take care.